My media product is a thriller horror with a storyline that creates an effective, gripping film. My film is very concentrated on the conventions of mise en scène. The film is set on a farm of where these young men have captured the wrong person. This means that their costumes had to match the scenery and who they are. All of the filming is within the early morning. This allows the lighting for the film to give a mystic effect with fog and rising sunshine. The film set is a farm, giving a different scenery to most other thrillers and shows what the characters' life styles are like. There was no light editing to the footage, meaning the film stock is colour. I took inspiration from other thrillers such as Husk and The Cabin in the Wood. These films are both set in the countryside areas and I feel that both of these films stand out as a result of their setting. The thriller films Psycho and The Purge are great with their shots. I have taken some inspiration from them. I believe that my blog shows everything about thrillers and showing how my film is a great addition to the thriller film industry. Within my film there is only three characters which can be seen. The characters represent social groups. Two white teenage farming men represent social class C2, which is the skilled working class. The frightened white young male does not represent a class. All we know about the character is what he looks like and his location. The farming characters wear very suitable clothing for their job, such as boots and jackets. This clothing would be worn by most people within the industry amongst the social group. The location shows a lot about their character, showing all they need is land and machinery to manage it. I feel that the social group of the characters might be a big influence on the audience, as they might want to find out what it may entail to having a thriller with these stereotypes. A thriller horror with similar social classes would be Husk. I believe that Sony would want to distribute my film. I believe they would consider my film as they have released many thriller films such as The Shadows, 2012 and Spider-Man. From their thriller movies there are none which represent the storyline similar to Pack Homicide. This could be another factor on why they may be interested on having my movie. It would allow them to reach new target audiences, creating a larger market of films. Another film with a similar storyline is Taken. Taken is a film about a kidnapping of a man's daughter and how he has gone to get her back. Taken is a film owned by 20th Century Fox. This means it could create similar style film which could create competition, meaning there is audience which already likes the style of film. My product will have an age restriction. It will be due to the inappropriate language, blood and violence. I thought that the film should be rated 15. This is because it will fit into the guidelines set by the BBFC. Although the market for thriller horrors has more males interested, the target audience will be for both genders. The film's target audience will be for English-speaking countries such as England and America. I feel that my film will have a positive response to the target audience as it will have what they are looking for. My audience research was done in a number of ways. I have done a questionnaire and given it to a number of people to see what they expect in a thriller film. The questionnaire can be found on Blogger. This information that I gathered was very useful as it allowed me to create a film which was something that the target audience wanted. I feel that all the important elements have been covered such as the plot, suspense, action, drama, music and location. The plot and suspense work well together as with suspense comes a very interesting plot. I feel that the actors fit into their roles very well due to their build and mannerisms. I feel that the music creates a tense vibe for a thriller opening. 
as of its low beat and smooth transitions. I've produced my film on what the audience want. My media product has allowed me to build on my technology knowledge in a number of ways. The camera equipment is a big upgrade from the regular point and shoot. I used the Canon 600D to produce my footage for my final product, alongside other accessories such as a tripod and a drone. The drone is a DJI Phantom 3 Advanced. It allowed me to create stunning footage such as the bird's eye view and establishing shots. The editing software I used was Final Cut Pro. It was very efficient and easy to use for my product footage. To create my music, I used GarageBand. It allowed my friend and I to make something which was idealistic for my product. For my written coursework, I used Blogger. It was very useful as I could proceed with my work on any computer as Blogger is online based. My preliminary task, final product and evaluation were uploaded to YouTube. YouTube allowed me to publish my video on Blogger with high quality files. Overall, my knowledge of media tech has improved a vast amount. As the first part of my coursework, the preliminary task was a great opening to the work ahead. From starting media studies, I did not know much about camera terminology. The preliminary task allowed me to understand the various shots, angles, lighting and more. I knew the basics of using a camera before I started the course but now I feel I have a much better understanding and skill. We filmed with a Canon 80D, and I feel jumping straight into a complicated camera would be hard, but with a little bit of help and practice, it was very simple to get the great shots. Doing this task allowed me to know how to use the equipment properly and made me think how to organize my product. The preliminary task was a beneficial as it allowed me to apply my knowledge into practice before shooting my final product.